Alright, so what does Sensei say about the motor? It looks pretty good. I think it got rod knock on it. So hey, yo, chill. You motherfucker is jinxing shit already. So I think he said one of the only things we're gonna have to replace is this knock sensor from my car because it looks broken off. And yeah, we're lucky it came with the coil packs and uh, everything else pretty much looks good. We're gonna inspect the timing belt itself after we take off the timing cover. He peeped that. <laughs> the fucking harmonic thing already split, came off pretty clean motor though i mean everything about it the clips are still here yeah all the tabs are still in one piece it probably was relatively low mileage or somebody oh, he said it was 130k rear end it i honestly believe it yeah i look at my motor and they say 130k but i, I know it's not i look at this and i mean everything looks clean yeah i still see the original stickers on the timing cover i can still clearly see the tiny marks are not scraped off and dirty i know they power washed it but even then, you usually can see inside the cracks, and then it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. You see that? You see that? Two Jay Z, no shit. Two Jay Z, no shit. It popped a little bit. Popped the hood. Popped the hood. We about to go start the day off right. You know how I go with the breakfast and all that. All right, we got the big boy scooter. Hey, what the fuck is that? Oh, what dropped about fuck? one of them, um little devil signs. <laughs> hey, who painted this shit? Oh, the person's about to hit a lick on your house. Yeah, that nigga ain't gonna get too far. <laughs> he probably gonna get to right there before. Right, so that's probably your dad finally shot him. That's why he didn't go no further. <laughs> we in the Migo van today. We got a man in this bitch gang shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna be a long yeah, trip. You can hit me, but don't hit me while I'm driving. We ain't trying to all die. Hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to see the old house in this fucking storage container? <laughs> Hey, what you mean? I use this shit to collect coins. Yeah, I still have mine too. So you know, From Wix Fest, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wix Fest, Dizzy. Ain't got no bullets in that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, baby. Thank you. I'll just take these out, man. It's all uh, good. I really don't. I'm trying to get them all that silver. Shit. That silver is fucking I'll trade nice. you the, uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We locked and loaded. Got canopy, seats, fluids. Condom. This is a big-ass condom, bro. How you fit this thing? <laughs> Me, oh my god. <laughs> How are you letting that guy put that crankshaft seal in you? <laughs> I'm gonna say. It's a big ass car. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're moving Lexuses with a full stomach. I ain't been in this thing in a while. Oh, That's some form of good luck, right? I hope. What the fuck is that? Like, I got a new bumper, so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you my old lip. But this is what the old lip looked like. So fucking hot in here, bro. Alright. Oh, there's your real lip. <laughs> Called it. This nigga got the world's biggest pry bar. Like, <laughs> what do you need to pry open with this motherfucker right? Look at the the circumference on this motherfucker is just unbearable. Nigga, this is Siegfried Sword from Soul Calibur. I'm not even bullshitting you. All right, we just set up shop. No sun should be getting in our faces. And we're about to get started. Oh yeah, go get you some of the 99s. You know, them, them, it's the gang right there. So he told me to start the vlog off. I don't even know how to take photos. This is what we're working on today. I guess you probably said that already. I do not know, see my video. But this here is your Borno 2JZ GE. And I blew it up, fucked up the timing. And now this shit go. There's a motor over there. We're gonna just start off today very simple. My goal is to get this thing out and have the, at least the other motor ready to put back in before the day's done. It's about 2.30 now. I just sent him on a parts run, AKA Ziploc bags and some beer because uh, without that, I ain't getting shit done. This ain't really a tutorial on how to do it if he hasn't said that already. This is just us trying to make a video of him getting his car right because uh, he ain't been making no content lately and your boy's been getting kind of bored on my lunch break. so. It's gonna be fun to watch right, so back. first dilemma already <laughs> we don't even have a 24 
to get the transmis transmission drain um, bolt out the way. So we're just moving on to the other fluids, coolant, and I'm gonna do oil after and get the radiator out the way. His tool set spilled over while he was in the he was in the trunk, so he's sorting his shit. <laughs> Fuck us. Fuck you too. All right, y'all. Uh, Rat support, condenser, radiator, all that out. Coolant drain, draining the oil right now. Letting that thing. Good luck. He's doing whatever he's doing up top. What are you doing up there? I'm yeah, just getting all the wires and stuff disconnected. Wires. I hate clips for my hands. I, I can never break them off of the ball. Making progress slowly but surely, yo. Sponsored by motherfucking Corona. As you know, it ain't a predictor car day if the beers ain't cracked. Crack the cold one with the blood, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna go under there and just double check. So I really don't remember. Yeah, um, I just did the clutch slave bolt. Got the end of the ground now. Uh, all the under here. I think I covered that part already. And the fuel line, that's what it was. Yeah. He's up here getting the last little bits of it. So we're pretty much ready to pull. We just need something to pull it with. So we might be sacrificing a seat belt today because we gotta get this shit out. We're not taking nothing else for an answer. <laughs> this motor's coming out today, that's fine. No excuses, Brandon. No excuses. I'll still have like, you on seat belt. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> bro, you like super mom, bro. <laughs> what is your superpower? I need to know. So right now he's just disconnecting the lower brace. Then there's the four bolts for the transmission. He just said something about it. It is a 14, but the whole time he's saying it wasn't, it's only because he's an idiot. Ooh, that is grimy. All right, so we got no chain, so. Oh, this nigga already started. <laughs> Ripper running seat belt. Passenger lives do not matter. Well, I don't have a lot of people in my backseat anyway, so. Nah, because the only people that be back here is you and your big booty bitches. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Chill, bro. That's my try what? No, you that. Okay, you let's go. Look at that. Okay, get that fucking camera. Try the keys back there. Back there, goose. Go like this, little little knot. This goes right here. On this hook. And so, okay. Now this bitch. Now there's multiple options you can do. The right way would be to get a bolt that can screw into here and then we'll strap it under there. The GTEs have a hook that go back here too. Man. We ain't got $6,500 for a GTE. Yeah, so Ridge Boys, San Jose niggas, Milpitas niggas. <laughs> Another option that I don't like too much, you can wrap it around here. Uh -huh. um, usually the sharpness of that can cut it. I I have never had that issue, but it is a possibility, especially if you're yanking on the motor. Uh -huh. You can wrap it around like this here, but honestly, I'm just gonna find the bolt that fits into there because that's the most level way of pulling this whole thing out. Okay. Uh, so, we're just using a bolt here to go into the side. All right. Four. Not break the harness. Wrap it under the underside because it's already broken, but. If you have a good car that isn't, then you don't want to wrap it above it because it'll just crack this. I think at this point, we might as well just get the hoist up in the position and start uh, chuck chucking. Chuck chucking. Slowly pull it out, see what things we forgot to disconnect because uh, everyone always forgets to disconnect something. Right. So, yeah, this, I mean, everything looks good, so let's get that hoist ready.
Mr. Muscles. For the whole time, it was stuck on the fucking ground. But now... Oh, so that's why we had to take the shifter off, huh? Because that shit was... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that mount's probably going to stick against that header, but it should be okay. Yeah, yeah. Got that motherfucker out. Oh yeah, for your car, huh? <laughs> she was a little funny. Okay, so while that motor's out, we're taking the um, Allen set to inspect the timing cover, crossing our fingers that it's good, because the uh, the car that this motor came out of was rear ended, so nothing up front should really be damaged. They say it's at around 130k, but you know how these motor places be, so. We're just gonna find out right now. They're crossing my fingers. Oh, bro! What happened? What? what about it? Think about it. Hey, Rip. Take a second. Off the. Wait. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm tripping. I'm thinking this is the. <laughs> oh, wait, what the fuck? Right, if we just looked at this for a second, we would have found our chain. Yeah, the belt doesn't look bad, but honestly, the. The, the real nigga in me says it's just walking. Fuck it. Now. Okay. But yeah, see, this is like right here, all this oil build up. Uh, it's from people spilling, so they spill it here, just starts funneling up in the first coil pack area. Uh -huh. Very rarely does it spill over into the second one. It can, it can follow this channel here. But, uh, new cam seals, crank seal for the front. We do the rear main seal, because I mean, we already have that one. Yeah. Do we, um, are we gonna be able to get those parts though? Because tomorrow's Sunday. Parts store. Ooh. Oh, like. Nap and shit. Yeah. Okay. Somebody has to have those. These these engines came in so many cars. All right. Well, motor's out. We just inspected the other motor. We got our game plan laid out for tomorrow morning. We about to clean up for the day and just uh wrap everything up. I'm probably gonna break this vlog into two parts because it's obviously gonna be a long one. But you know, content for content. So yeah, we finna get up out of here. We finna uh you know clean up, shower do all that shit chill out for tonight and get ready for tomorrow and um i'll see y'all in part two of the vlog y'all be easy some niggas that think life is spinning blocks like a donut i say it's more to life than where you from and how you grown up nigga hey i'm skeptical outside raised in the 30s don't forget five yeah bitches be dirty but don't you try